Hello friends, welcome to the new video of Magento. So today we are going to learn about how to add extra tabs in Magento 2. So whatever if we want to add any static block, anything that you want, just we can add it from here, uh, add it from the backend, and it will show show it over here. So let's do it. How we are going to implement it? So first of all, let's check out how we are enabling it. First of all, let me log in. What are the configuration stores? Configurations. Then we have a Rajnikan, then we have extra tabs configuration. Then you can see that we have a product description you want to enable or disable. Whatever titles you want to make, you can also add. I can make a description. Where can I also make a description also? Description. Position 1, 2, you can see additional attributes. Yes. Okay, position 2. Product reviews you want. Related products if you want, you can add. Okay, position 4. Then we have a product text area if you want to add any map product text area attributes into tab okay so you can add whatever uh, product text attributes whether you want to description meta keyword short description description you want to add you can add okay suppose i want to add soft short description i can add short description that gonna be like six position okay and here I want to add the static blocks. So I'm going to uh, add the static block like uh, any of the contactors info, footer links you can add. You can add any of the login info block you can add. Okay. Login info. Okay. Depending upon the static. Well, okay. Then we can save this configuration. Now we are going to flush this cache. Okay. Then we are going to check out whether it is visible or not just reload this tab so you can see that login info is there okay and uh, additional information we have all reviews then we have a login info right this is basically a blog that the, uh, the that is the blog that they have okay so this is how you can see that the, dis the description part is changing you can see that in the description we have changed this one okay and uh, this is product text area so it should be short description meta keywords so whatever if it is a short description then it will show else it will not show right so this is how this is the full management of the tabs that you can add it from here i have also implemented one more tab one more tab configuration that is from the crud operation okay that where you can select the content or something over here but this is also good that we can also manage any of the static blocks from here so any, any static block that you want to show in that particular one so you can add it from here something that is general so let's move to the code level how we are going to implement it okay so let's have a look the code level so this is basically our extra tabs so we have already this one okay so let's have a look so we have a block etc helper and observer view registration.php okay so write me uh, let me know uh, write me in the comment section whether you want this tutorial for the code level or not okay thank you so much for watching this video have a great day please please write me in a comment that i need to continue with this uh, code level or not let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day